We're here again at Floyd Bennett Field. I have an honorable guest. It's actually the pilot episode of Car Stories, Andre Page. And this is the E36 that we'll be talking about today. This is a car that he bought for his girlfriend, now fiance. It was supposed to be kind of like a gift of, you know, Merry Christmas and will you marry me? A bunch of other shit happened in between. It was a mad race just to get the car together. Ended up, you know, tearing the whole thing apart, fully repainting it, the hell rot red that it is, putting some different wheels on it, the M3 bits and everything. You know, just styling it out, making it a nice, respectable cruiser. We literally just took the cover off of it today to go take it out for a ride on this glorious New York City day. Start out by the beginning, the origin story of this car for you. Uh... Well, I have a soft spot in my heart for E36s in general. I owned quite a few of them. And um, I thought about uh, proposing to my girl and how I was going to do it and make it different. So um, she knows I'm into cars. She likes cars too a little bit. Um, so I figured, let me look around and see if there's anything like that she likes. And instead of getting her like a Q5 or some you know, kind of BS mom SUV. I figured it'd be fun to get her something a little, little fun to take out on like beach days and weekends and whatnot. So uh, looked around, found this little like convertible with the hard top, and I figured that was that was a good place to start right there. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, long story short, it was really just like getting into the mix of it. Um, it needed it like common E36 thing. It was already hell rot red. It had a little clear coat missing. Um, we threw. We kept it quite simple. We did headlights, Euro um, Euro marker lights, uh, M3 tail lights, a bunch of M3 bits. Actually, came with a bunch of M3 bits already on the car, and I had other. E36s and I just made sure that the parts that it came with were like up to par for my girl pretty much so like I like I didn't want to give her some car that was just like some kind of like hoopty and like a problem to deal with so I got her you know little Vader seats because that was just a little style bit for her it's got um and mirrors front front bumper uh side skirts it's like kind of the full M3 conversion uh, with the exception of the power plant, but she owns driving fast anyway, so <laughs> she just is cruising for her. Um, uh, contours, little, little cruiser, soft top, hard top. Uh, what else do we do with this car? I like the, the Continental radio. I think it's a really good touch. Yeah, oh yeah, Continental radio. Um, I did uh, upgrade to the Harman Kardon, the HK uh, speakers inside, which just need an update. I'm probably just going to go bath sound or something like that for her, keep it pretty simple. And then um, I got her another set of Style 24s, polished, um, over at uh, J Customs Wheels. This is a nice dude that hooked it up. And we just got to throw those on for the summer. And that's pretty much what we've been like running with for the car. It's a 323i, easy for her to get in and go. She doesn't drive many old car yet. And uh, so it's an auto. It's just like a perfect daily driver. And um, had a bunch of friends that helped me definitely put the car together. Jackie at uh, King's Automotive. God bless, thank you. Um, he helps me out with a lot of my cars. And then um, Tom, <laughs> Watermelon, Kiki, Kadeem. They've all helped. The, the idea was to, uh, without getting that deep in the story, the idea was to give her the car on Christmas with a ring. And it was just a wild year and it faded to the back for like a little bit. So recently I uh, went with Bob, we call him Tom, and uh, gave her the ring on the waterfront. So right now today, we took a ride over to the infamous Shea Stadium, cut off the catalytic converter that was making a little bit of a noise, went straight pipe to the back, and kept it really, really clean and simple. And then uh, 
now we're here, we're getting the car ready for her. So she'll have it good for the summer. Yeah. I think the, the summons, the $50 summons is going to be worth it for the B-roll though. Yeah, the $50 summons that uh, Tom got. I signed up for that. Yeah. <laughs> I insist that we go over there. You always called your girl Ladybug. Yep, I do. Was it always the plan to go with a red car for her? No, not at all. Like it's just, it kind of just like fell into the cards. Like uh, I did look at a couple other options for cars for her. Um, like I said, like she like uh, she liked a couple Audis. Um, we looked at her uh, Cayman and and it just didn't like kind of like work out. Most of the ones were, were manual and they'd probably be little fun cars that I would cruise around in. So it really wouldn't have been hers. So I, I felt that like I had to push kind of myself to the side and be like, what would she like for a fun little cruiser? And that's, and that's where we started with this one. And uh, when it popped up and it was red, it just called out her name that it, that it was hers. So it, that's, that's, that's her, a little ladybug. And she's, it's cool, man. It's just like a, it's a, it's a good daily driver. You're not breaking hearts with it, but it's definitely a, it's, it's a good get in the car, go. You know what I mean? People love it. Cool little red car, th throwback, head nod to the 90s. So, you know, you can't go wrong with it. Yeah. Well, what's cool too is the fact that, I mean, knowing you, you probably got a good deal on it. And the fact that it's got a hard top and a working soft top, it's like, worst comes to worst ever, you can obviously flip that hard top, buy yourself another one or like a parts car, trade the hard top in for a parts car and replace so many things. Yeah, um, yeah where do you foresee the market, or I guess not even just the market, but like the, the whole culture around E36, do you think ever it'll get as high as the E30s? Because obviously E30s now, especially super clean examples of like the M3 be like 80 to 100,000. Do you ever foresee these kind of starting to shoot up in that price too or? I don't see them getting to that that price, but I do like obviously these cars have gone up in value. Um, if you have a true like low miles, great spec M3, then yeah, you're going to get you're going to get great numbers for the car. But if you're, you know, it the way that I look at it for an E36 is they're kind of like a good starter car to like know where like what kind of direction that you want to to go in when it comes to having like owning a little bit of an older car like you know like they're like they have enough features that are kind of like newer cars for, for having an old car but like like power windows and you know i mean you could of course yeah, and they work and they yeah but all yeah all everything works in the car so that that's that's a wonderful and like wait was this the car that we fixed the regulators in no 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 this wasn't the one that the, the, the no that one? was that was another one yeah i've got quite a few of these cars like i've got a, a mirror version well actually i've got a 328i which looks exactly like this car set same hell rot red with the hard top um with the parallels though yeah yeah no that one doesn't have parallels that one has contours the other one has parallels. oh you're right you're right yeah yeah yeah. the other one has parallels but um so yeah i've got a few of these cars and they're fun it's it i feel that like once you understand the platform and once a like it's an easy car to get into and have and have fun with and i feel that like that allows people to modify them more where you've seen a lot of e30s it's about bringing them back to its original heritage, like, you know, like, and like, and bringing them back to its, like, like, they're the first, they're the first ones. So, of course, you're going <laughs> to, it's going to be valued more, like, you know, that for me, at least. And, you know, like, the same thing when it gets down to, like, uh, E46s, like, you know what I mean? Those were, they 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 were the first of what they did, you know, and I, I get it, like, great spec M cars go for go for quite a bit of money now you used to be able to get those cars for like 10 15 grand and now they're far they're far up you can still get you can, I'm talking about good spec ones though like you know what I mean like like now you find them in there like you know 20 plus like can get way higher than that 
you know, de depending on like what, if especially redone interior, like, you know what I mean? What wheels are you running? And are you talking about E46 on threes or? No, I'm talking about E36s. E36s. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, E46s, yeah, yeah. good luck with that. <laughs> they're, they're quite, they're, they're definitely, they're, they're starting at 20, even, even clapped out ones at this day and age. Um, but I'm saying like the same way that how like you look at an E46 to an, e, an E30, you know what I mean? I think that that, that love a little bit jumped cause that when the power came to the E46, it made everybody look at that car for what it was. But they made so many of these and they were ahead of, way ahead of their time for, for what it was. So, so I think that that's what makes them stand out. They're still, it's still older looking, but it's still kind of a little bit of a timeless, a timeless vibe. Of course. I mean, those body lines, the angles, everything. Yeah, it's got like this like squarish round kind of like Snoopy love, you know? Yeah. Well, cause they're, they're from the era that was like, what, right after the 190Es? Mm-hmm, absolutely. Like, and the thing is, she still needs some love, like obviously, like we'll throw in a different steering wheel for her. Um, I'm gonna, I'll hit somebody up and I'll rewrap the seats again. And then uh, I actually have another set, but and then some little bits here and there. But besides that, you know, I think that it's fun that it, that it winds up being like a project. It's like you sit there and you just like toy with the car. It's a good thing to do on weekends and when you have some time off. We just got back after I proposed from a trip to Japan and literally that was last night and I'm already like tinkering with the car. So <laughs> here we are yet again. Dude, I just enjoy it. I, I feel that like, this is a good spot to start at for people that want to, you know, get in, play with their cars and they're not, it's not too deep to go into the pocket. You can find yourself a pretty inexpensive convertibles. If you want to deal with learning how to fix the convertible tops, you can spend a couple extra bucks and get yourself a hard top and you, you know what those convertible things have to deal with. I own also a couple sedans, so, or and have um like their coupes are fun sedans are fun like for me overall it's a great na car that you can just like drive around and like kind of style it your own as opposed to only making it for like horsepower and that's that's kind of like for i guess like where we're at obviously right now it doesn't have the wheels on it. and this like i said this one's for my girl so she doesn't she doesn't care about it as much as like we do so like ours are a little bit different yeah you know what i gotta do i do have to change i just noticed that on cost there since i put all the real m3 trim i do have the the mtech like uh badges i definitely i debadged it when i got the car it had like all m3 badges and everything like that i definitely took all of that off when i was going to paint i really not a big fan of of that the styling yes absolutely um and that's where also i took the tips off and didn't wind up putting them back on mm. but i got so i got to put them back on when we were you like, still have them the, yeah i still have them I, but i'll throw some new ones on and then um yeah you know it's just like little bits little th little things here and there and these cars aren't very expensive to to like figure out things like you know you just like like you could truly like go on YouTube and have some fun and just like learn about it. Like, you know, I gotta switch yeah, these guys out. There's a plethora of content about these. Oh my gosh, so much. And like really good guys that like, like work on them. And like you see like everybody, anybody from like, you know, Obsessed Garage where you have like this meticulously like detailed, like kids dream E36 to like other guys that have them that are just like starting out and like dudes like French channels like that are just like ah oh, fuck it I'm gonna send it and <laughs> just like put it back together which is dope too yeah and then in between that all the drift guys well not in between those dudes do some pretty serious builds with these cars which is amazing yeah that like I definitely love to see a lot of that too and um, that'll probably be in the future for us as well swap yeah definitely let's just ls swap something in your driveway let's, that could be good content how to ls swap a 5.3 into your e36 in a brooklyn driveway 6.0 or 6.0 whatever 